Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to forget everything that you've seen on TV and in the movies. There's not going to be any last minute surprise witnesses. Nobody's gonna break down on the stand with a tearful confession. You're gonna be presented the simple fact. Andrew Beckett was fired. You're gonna hear two reasons as to why he was fired. You're gonna hear ours and you're gonna hear theirs. It's up to you to sit through layer upon layer of truth until you determine for yourselves which version sounds the most truthful. There are several points I've got to prove to you. Point number one, Andrew Beckett was a, is a brilliant lawyer. He's a great lawyer. Point number two, Andrew Beckett, afflicted with the devastating disease, made the personal, the understandable, the legal choice to keep the fact of his illness to himself. Point number three, Charles Wheeler and his associates discovered Andrew's disease, and ladies and gentlemen, the disease I'm referring to is AIDS, and point number four, they panicked. And in their panic, they did with AIDS what all of us would want to do with AIDS, which is to get it and anyone who has it as far away from the rest of us as possible. Now the behavior of Charles Wheeler and his associates may seem reasonable to you, does to me. After all, AIDS is a deadly, incurable disease. But no matter how you come to judge, Charles Wheeler and his associates, in moral, in ethical, in human terms, the fact of the matter remains, when they fired Andrew Beckett because he has AIDS, they broke the law. Your Honor, Everyone in this courtroom is thinking about sexual orientation, you know, sexual preference, whatever you want to call it. Who does what to whom and how they do it? They're looking at Andrew Beckett. They're thinking about it. They're looking at Mr. Wheeler. They're looking at you, Your Honor. They're wondering about it. Believe me, I know they're looking at me thinking about it, so let's just... Get it out in the open, you know, get it out of the closet. Because this case isn't just about AIDS, is it? No, of course not. So let's talk about what this case is really all about. The general public's hatred, our fear, our loathing of homosexuals, and how that very climate of fear and hatred translated into the firing of this particular homosexual, my client, Andrew Beckett.